Good morning. Let's see how long this lasts. Mm. Got a new phone coming in. Of course, it will arrive when we are out of the country. Yes, today is the day. Today is the day. Get in a bus. Get on the bus. Karen's expecting me to dance at the beginning. They all go crazy. There's just no doubt. You get that feeling when you're finally on there and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're on the boat and it's like somebody else is driving. It feels so calm. Oh, God. Sorry. It's going to be so much fun. I just made a coffee, which of course I still drink. But I made a Vinco muffin and it's just sitting there. I have no desire to eat it. My appetite is so different than it was it's almost like it was when I was a lot younger. You know, I don't get that hungry. I don't want to eat that much. Last night we got some Chinese food. It was last dinner out, celebration. And um, got the house rice, Lucky Dragon. And I just, mm, I was looking forward to it until I started eating it. But I also got this other thing. They have a new dish there. It's some spicy beef kind of thing. And um, see, I still really can't taste anything. Um, and the, if something spicy, it actually will hurt out of my tongue. So I um, I take a bite and I'm freezing it. I'm going to see, like, eat, taste it, check it out after we get back. Oh, but I really don't get that hungry. <sighs> I don't know. It's weird. This last year, there wasn't much. The world's thrown at me. There isn't much? No, that's not right. This last year, the world's thrown a lot at me. Hey. A lot at me. A lot at me. Uh, all packed. Get everything ready. Um... Okay, yeah, passport's right there. Mm. But what I realized last night was this is school vacation week. Didn't know it when I picked the week. You know what that means. Funny thing is, like, the other ones we've been on, the kids have been pretty well behaved, and the parents are right on top of it. They're not American parents for the most part, though. Well, let's, let's see, they're not 100% American parents. What we need, you know what we need? We need Indian parents bringing up our American kids and Pakistani parents bringing up our American kids because they don't take any shit from the kids. They just throw this look at them. And the kids just go, whoop, whoop, whoop. yes, daddy, yes, mommy, yes, daddy, yes, grandma. Um, yeah, and they always bring grandma on, at least one grandma. Um, sometimes a grandpa who just sits there and doesn't say anything, but there's usually a grandma. So if mama and daddy have to go off for a minute or something, grandma's right there. And you know how grandma's, you don't fuck with grandma. <laughs> you don't fuck with grandma. Oh my God. I just can imagine if we, if the, <laughs> if we got some Irish parents to uh, take care of our American kids. They'd all have a bruise on the side of the head probably. Oh, it's just funny. This is funny. Oh. Just want to get on that. Just want it. Just a few hours, less than six hours, we have to be on the boat. <sighs> oh, just, it's going to be fun. It's going to be so much fun. And then we have then Chiller and um, the race in Dover. Dover, Delaware. Mm hmm. They call the track the paperclip because that's what it looks like. Uh, 
These long straightaways are very short corners. Oh, here comes my co-host. Hey, buddy, you coming up here? Huh? Hey. He's been very moody. Very moody. Just watched the thing about the talking about planting and uh, trying to say. I mean, this is April, and the guy's like, "You gotta look at the calendar." He's a greenhouse guy. And he's they're talking about just that might be you know there could be another frost or I don't know. I I have potatoes planted outside, and they're in the earth, and they're probably safe. And I got potatoes growing in here, and some other things. They might all be potatoes, but uh. Growing crazy, growing strong inside the house. Just a few things. Anyway. I'll miss everybody when you're gone. I'm probably going to try to do a video as we're leaving today to show you the back side of Castle Island. If I can, if I'm not dancing too much. I'll do the mashed potato. She's always talking about the Cuban slide. No, this boy doesn't do Cuban. I, mean, I can do the mashed potato with a twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. That's all you get. That's all you get with for free. You know, I can, like, look out from here and almost see where the boat is. I just want to get on it now. Hopefully, while I'm out of the country, <laughs> Washington, went, D.C. won't do too many crazy things. Yes, I believe I can control it now. We won't get invaded again by people with um, moose antler, oh, head antler. What was the hell was that guy wearing? He didn't have a shirt on, but he had horns. Oh my God. I just like want to go move up Maine somewhere, you know. I think I'm going to try to eat my English muffin now. It was a nice sunrise. Drink my coffee. Maybe a piece of chocolate. I already did my insulin for the day. Just got to do my other meds, my medi meds before my blood pressure, my other diabetes thing. How I'm not in the Marion Manor in like the master suite, I have no idea, but it's probably coming. I worked there, and at the time, my worst fear was I would end up there. <laughs> but I did like the people. I did like the residents when I was up there. A few cousins worked up there, and an aunt, uh, and a sister or two. But um. Yeah, I can remember the morning when I walked into this, this to this lady just to sweep up the room. You know, he had a schedule of you do this this day, this day, this room. So I was just going in there and doing. I think it was I had the, the dry mop, and this poor lady had been in there for years. She had first went in it and she worked there, like as an activities director. I wish I could remember her name. I just refer to her as Mrs. Murphy, and um, I had her on my floor. And I went in there. I actually used to sweep up her floor every day. Every, just every day, even if I didn't call for it. She was kind of like an, um, she was aware, but she couldn't talk. Um, she could only blink her eyes. But at that, she was a sweet, sweet lady. And then I walked in there one morning and said good morning to her. And it took me about two seconds to realize that she was gone. And um, I cried a little bit, actually. I really did. I mean, I was 1970, 
nine, and I think she had been there since the sixties at some time. And there was pictures of her all over the place, very well dressed, you know. But um, that day she passed, and I had to take her. I had to take her out of there and bring her up to the dentist's office. The um, one of the older remaining buildings at the time, and I think it's still there, was at the top of the hill, Old Harbor Street, opposite the front of the Heights. And the dentist's office was several feet below ground, but it was cool. It was it's almost like a refrigerator, which they didn't have. It's awful to say, but it brought her up there. And the equipment up there was from the 19th century. They obviously had 